Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Here, Rags. Here, boy. Come on, Rags. Let's get over to the wagon. It's almost time for you to be getting ready for your act. Oh, you know it, huh? I suppose you know you're a star, too. Yes, you are. Bump said you were. You're a real honest-to-goodness circus trick dog. Rags, Rags, Rags. Come here. Where are you going? Golly, look at him go. Rags. Oh, I see. He's chasing a duck. Rags, you leave that duck alone. You got it half scared to death. Why, by golly, it, it's Lulu, Johnny Bradley's trick duck. Get away now, Rags. Here, Lulu. Nice duck. Rags, that Rags won't hurt you, Lulu. He, he only wants to play. Come on, I'll, I'll pick you up. Nice, Lulu. Down, Rags. What are you doing out in the backyard alone, huh? Where's your mask, Lulu? You know, Rags? This duck shouldn't be around loose. I bet Johnny Bradley doesn't even know she's out. Nice, Lulu. We'll find your master for you. Where? Oh, I see. You're right. That is Bradley. There's your master, Lulu. Over there, sitting on that bale. Thanks, Ray. I see him now. Mr. Bradley. Mr. Bradley. I got Lulu. Uh, uh, are you asleep, Mr. Bradley? Golly, Rags, I, I guess he's sleeping. He must be tired to, to fall asleep sitting up. Quiet, Rags. Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, uh, where am I? Uh, oh, it's you, Jerry. I'm sorry if we woke you up. Oh, that's all right, Jerry. Rags started to chase Lulu, and so I picked her up and was looking for you. I know you never let her run around loose. Oh, I should say not. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, hand me that box of hers there, will you? Here you are. Is this her house? <laughs> well, you might call it that. There you are, Lulu. In you go. <laughs> How did she get away from you, Mr. Bradley? When I stumbled, no doubt the door sprang open. Did you and... trip over something? Uh, why, I, Or I... did you have another fainting spell? Oh, it's of no avail to try to deceive you, Jerry. I did become a bit weak. Are you... Are you all right oh, now? yes, Jerry. I... I should be quite all right. You really shouldn't be working if you're so sick. Alas, duty knows no bonds, my boy. Oh, well, what do you mean? The play must go on, my son, despite the frailty of the human body. But I'm sure Mr. Randall wouldn't want anyone to work if they're really sick. A kind man indeed. But who am I to burden him with my poor problems? I who have fallen so low. Gee, Mr. Bradley, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I thought you just said you tripped or stumbled or something. My boy, I hope you may never know the depths through which I have had to drag my weary body these many years. The despair I've known daily in performing the lowly tasks I have fallen heir to. You mean being a clown? Yea, even a clown. Ah, oh, the irony. To bring the beauty of the greatest poet the world has ever known into the ring where people scoff and roar with low and reveled laughter. Ah, oh, my boy, that is tasting the dregs. Indeed it is. Golly, Mr. Bradley, I, I just guess I don't know what you mean. I think being a clown, and a good one like you and Bumps, is one of the grandest things in the world. You just think how many people you make happy. Yes. Yes, my boy. You speak with the tongue of a philosopher. Indeed, you shame me. No task is too lowly. But, Mr. Bradley, 
If people are unhappy and discontented and feeling blue, and you can make them laugh and forget all the unhappy things, well, gee, maybe I'm crazy, but, but I can't imagine anything better. How can you say being a clown is lowly? Alas, I know not who has put such words of wisdom in your mouth, my boy, but indeed you are right. I weep for shame that it would take a child to make me see the folly of my ways and the false pride in my heart. Why, Mr. Bradley, you're, you're really crying. From weakness, my boy. Truly, these are tears of joy that at last I'm beginning to see the circus in its true light of shedding happiness and joy on the peoples of the earth. <laughs> I know we go on in a minute. My, 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 can't you wait? Oh, hello there, Jerry and Johnny. Uh, hi, Bumps. Gee, I'm sure glad you happened by. Hi, the fires of discontent. The fires of discontent. Well, why, Jerry? What was that you just said, Johnny? The fires of discontent. He's been talking awful funny, Bumps. Well, Johnny, are you sick? Well, good heavens, you got a temperature. He, he's delirious. He can't work. Here, give me a hand, Jerry. We'll move him into this wagon out of the sun. But, but what about his act? He's heavy. Uh, the boy is right. The play, the play is the thing. Uh, it's too late to get in touch with Randall. I guess we'll just have to cut his act today. Say, he's heavy, all right. Well, it's right this way, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, on this blanket. Yeah. Yeah, oh. that's right. Now, be careful now. Uh, uh, to sink into the arms of mortals. What joy. What bliss. Uh, shall I get him some water? Uh, no, 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 wait. He's asleep. And it's just as well. The fever will probably wear itself off. Now, here, I'll just put this blanket over him so he won't catch cold. Poor fella. He's pretty old, isn't he? Say, Bumps. Uh, yes? I got an idea. What is it? Why can't I go on for him? What? Sure. I know what he does. Oh, why, you couldn't possibly do it. Why not? Gee, all he does in the first walk around is to make his duck follow him around the ring. Golly, that's easy enough. Oh, oh it's out of the question, Jerry. Aw, oh, gee, please, Bumps. Just the first walk around. Lulu and I are friends, and she'll quack after me just like she does after Bradley. Oh, but the makeup... I can the... wear his clothes, and, and they'll look even funnier on me because I'm little. Aw, oh, please, Bumps. Just let me try the first walk around. Well, I, I don't know what to say. It's, oh, it's, come on. After all, Lulu's the chief attraction there, and, and I know all the funny little steps and things he does while Lulu quacks around the ring. Uh, okay, okay, Jerry. I'll risk it. Now, here, quick, I'll help. Here, get these things of Bradley's down from the hooks. Why, he hadn't even dressed yet. Will you have time to help me make up a bit? Uh, just barely. You can dress after I leave if we're late, because Johnny always comes on later. Now, here, uh, these are all his things. This vest is your fancy. <laughs> Golly, th this hat slips way down over my face. <laughs> and remember to keep pushing it up when it gets over your eyes. Why, well, you can play it for a laugh. Yeah, and I can trip over these pants when they fall down too long. <laughs> you sure got the right idea for comedy stuff, Jerry. I guess you'll get by. <laughs> now, here, now put this white stuff over your face, quick. Yeah. It sure feels funny and sticky. <laughs> That's right. Here, now rub it in a little smoother. <laughs> I look... Just like I put my head in a barrel of dough. <laughs> I'll wipe it off around your eyes. Why'd you do that? Looks like I got big circles under my eyes. Yeah, makes you look sad, mournful-like. And now I'll just paint this mouth on you. Here, here, here. Now hold steady. <laughs> well, here, keep still. How can I ruse your mouth if you try to talk? <laughs> yeah, there, there now. Oh, that's good, if I do say so myself. What a grin. Funny, though. It looks sad, too. Yep, that's the way it should be. I'm sorry to say the sorrier and sadder the clown is, if he keeps grinning and bearing all his indignities, the funnier it is to the crowd. Ah, uh, gee, I, I like those eyebrows. They're just like exclamation points. Gee, I, I sure look funny. <coughs> Isn't that so, Rad? Ah, <coughs> oh, gee, thanks, Bumps. You're swell. I won't muff things. I, I'm sure I won't. <laughs> well, son, looks as if that frock coat just about fits. The tails have just come to the floor. <laughs> Say, listen, Jerry, when you just walk out there, you'll get a laugh, or I'll miss my guess. Well, I gotta run. Good luck to you. Gee, I'll, I'll sure try. Look, Bradley's still asleep. Think he'll be all right? Oh, I'll tend to him right after the show. Well, goodbye. Now, come along. Come along, Rex. Oh, golly, I, I sure hope I do it right so Bradley won't get into trouble. Now, I, I just gotta get Lulu. Here you are, Lulu. Now, think you can do your stuff with me? You better. Okay, Lulu. Come on. Recognize your music? Sure you do. I knew I could count on you. 
after a swell little trooper. Here's our turn. Come on, on we go. No, no, you better not try it, But Jerry. didn't I do the other all right? Oh, you sure did. <laughs> you had him in the eyes. But listen, Jerry, this next act is different. Just Shakespeare. Just Shakespeare? Say, who do you think he was? Well, I guess he was pretty good. But I heard Bradley do it enough so I can get the idea. And gee, you saw how Lulu followed me around in the walk around. <laughs> I saw how she kept trying to run away from you. Well, the audience seemed to like it. I'll say they did. It was a riot. If you could have seen yourself chasing that duck and falling down over those long trousers every time you'd get ahead of him. <laughs> Why, you had me crying. Crying? You, first laughing and then crying. With that fool stovepipe falling down over your eyes and then rolling around the ring when you fell. You see? It worked out all right. Oh, please, Bumps. I may never have another chance. Honest, I know some Shakespeare. Oh, but Bradley used to be an old Shakespearean actor. He's got that grand old voice like an organ. And he's so darn dignified. Well, that's why it's so funny when the duck keeps interrupting him every time Bradley starts to spout all those speeches. Oh, gee, Bradley goes on next. Oh, just say yes, please. Oh, I'm sorry, son. I'm afraid that's too much of a good thing. <laughs> Here goes Lulu. Gee whiz, that was her cue and, and she's gone out. What do we do? Lulu, Lulu. Oh, good night. Lulu, <laughs> Lulu. Oh, well, Jerry, I guess Lula's taking things into her own hands. Well, go on and good luck. Though that's a tough act for a kid to try to do. Oh, it. thanks, Bumps. I'll, I'll sure try. Hist, hist, hist there. What light through yonder window breaks? Ah, it is the yeast, and Juliet is the sun. Jerry's not going to try and do that, is he? <laughs> Listen, we can just barely hear it. Away. Away, low churl! <laughs> Look at him trying to push that duck away. <laughs> oh, he hurt himself. <laughs> now listen, he's saying something. Look at him holding his arms out to the duck as it goes squawking off. <laughs> alas! Alack! Alack! Alas! He can't think of any lines. <laughs> no. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Today, any day, every day. Tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> My golly, he came through all right. That's it. That boy's a born trooper. <laughs>